Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of A Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm Juan. And we are doing a doubleheader today. We just finished talking about Altered Carbon, so make sure you guys check that episode out on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or just search Corker Comics on youtube.com. But uh, we had to do another episode because there's some crazy shit happening in the DC and Marvel Universe, and we are talking comic books right now. We're not talking movies, we're not talking TV shows, we're not talking video games, we're talking comic books. In May, both publishers are totally turning their titles upside down and first of all dc did their rebirth launch which which was a uh, extension of the new 52 which when, when did they do rebirth rebirth last year was it i think it was longer than that you think so i think it was in 2016 if i remember correctly maybe either way rebirth has been going on and dc's shaking some things up they're not they're not doing a reboot but they're shaking things up and then marvel launched their legacy thing probably about a year ago right really no that was like five six months ago maybe it was like august or september or that marvel legacy comic yeah 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 they, they came up with marvel legacy which basically was was an effort to come back to the core of what people loved about the marvel characters you know there was a lot of angst in the comic book community over what marvel was doing about you know changing the characters uh going for more um a di diversity uh as far as uh females and other races but but and instead of creating new characters they they took existing characters and totally rewrote who was behind the mask now and a lot of a lot of a lot of people had a lot of angst about that it's not so much that they didn't want um diverse characters but they wanted their core characters that they knew and loved to remain the same and make new characters. Kind of like what DC's doing. They came out with Damage and Silencer and the, the Terrifics and stuff like that. DC did a good job with that. But Marvel instead, you know, took Tony Stark out of, out of the armor, put Riri Williams in. I love Riri Williams, but, you know, to not have Tony Stark there, a lot of people had a problem with. You know, got rid of um, Bruce Banner, put Amadeus Chow in there, which a lot... I don't like him. I don't know anybody that likes Chow. No, nobody um, likes Chow. So, uh, Mar and Marvel's response to that was, let's do a legacy series. Bring everyone... No, Marvel's response to that was to insult its consumer base, its customers. How so? Huh? How so? By saying that their customers are a bunch of homophobic, uh, you know, a bunch of bigots. Was there an official statement that said that? Yeah, but actually, one of the people from Marvel came out and said that our readers, apparently, these comics aren't selling because they're homophobes and bigots and blah, blah, blah. Oh, really? I didn't so, know that. Well, I read Marvel. Good on you, Marvel. And, and I'm, not, I'm none of those. Um, I don't think anybody uh, is. I just think that the writing was god-awful. The writing was awful, and, and, and you know what it was? Uh, listen... I, I grew up reading comic books, and I will tell you this. The comic books I was reading when I was 10, 11, 12 years old are totally different from the comics I'm reading today. If I read today's comics as a child, I don't know if I would understand it the same way. They were written differently. And, and when I was – I read a lot of the new Mar Legacy titles, and they, uh, they seem to be catered more towards children, which I can't hate on them for that. you know. But at the same time, it, it turned off a lot of adult readers, I think, um, and at least for me personally. Would you agree? For what comics in the nineties? No, no, I'm saying Marvel currently. Like, they, like a lot, of, a lot of their books were, uh, their le in their legacy series were geared more towards like uh, children reading. I, 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 that's the vibe I got. Uh, not, not really. Like, I, like I, Champions, for example, uh, Spider Gwen. I, I mean, you had a lot. Of, yeah, you had those were were basically more for like the teenage crowd. Yes, exactly. That's right, and then the books that weren't for the teenage crowd were just infused with socio political commentary everywhere. I mean, uh, both companies have their both of them flaws in, yes. in that sense. Uh, also, the, what Marvel did, which I thought was good too, is they 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 brought the they, they brought the the numbering back too. They because Marvel was well, so to copy DC because DC did it with Rebirth. Well, you know, because DC's coming up on it on a thousand, so not just a thousand. Detective and action, thousand. right? Yeah, they got they have a lot of milestones coming up. Yeah, uh, and so does Marvel. Spider Man eight hundred, Amazing eight hundred is coming out soon. Uh, we just had Thor seven hundred. Um, but Marvel was guilty, I thought, with Marvel Now, Marvel Now 2.0, you know, just yeah. all these number ones. I'll tell you what, from a filing perspective, we've been like, 
what the fuck, you know? Yeah, there's no good way to file. Like, and and what comes, what order does it go in? Oh, what's like, worse is when a customer comes in super educated, right? They're like, oh, Juan, I need you an Incredible Hulk from Volume 3. I'm like, where the, what the fuck is that? I know, I know. Like, explain to me. Yeah, exactly. So, going back to the legacy numbering, I thought was, where are you, go, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you getting something to drink? No, I don't want anything. I want to do this show. So you gotta bring, bring this up for me when I'm done. The fuck? That was rude to our watchers. What? What, Canada Dry Ginger Ale? Yeah, no, it's like, let's get Canada Dry Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I, I like the numbering, but now Marvel DC, they're changing things up. Uh, Wonski here actually has some data for us. So, Juan, what's happening at Marvel in May? <clears throat> No, okay. So the Marvel cancellations are um, America. Canceling America, which I don't think we're going to have a lot of people crying. I, well, the last book did 8,000 single units in sales. That's horrible. Yeah. Horrible numbers. Iceman, uh, Gwenpool. Iceman, I, I'm actually surprised about Iceman. First of all, I like that book. And it's the first ongo- it was the first ongoing title with, with, with a openly homosexual character right there was a coming out scene and everything uh, yeah and, and and they even have scenes in it like with bobby drake uh you know being you know intimate with sure. other guys yeah. it moved uh, but that but that's not what made the book good or bad but i'm just it moved like twelve thousand units really is that it gwenpool I hate uh it. generation x that could have been so much better than a hawkeye uh and she hulk those are the main cancellations. And now, and then, and then, what are they coming out with? So it's it, it's called the, the Marvel, f- <laughs> the Fresh Start. It's called Marvel Fresh Start. Yeah, Marvel Fresh Start. You right? That's just so fucking stupid. Oh well, what like Marvel I, Now was pretty horrible. What I do know this from, like Marvel Now. From do we call the, it Marvel then? I don't know. <laughs> what 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 I do know is that their editor in chief is gone, and they have a new editor in chief right. coming in. Well, they, they they're switching it all up, and this guy is like no nonsense. Yeah. Um, Joe Casada's coming back. He, to help they're out. they're already like shaking things up. They're already going after good independent writers. They're doing some stuff that I really love already. They're putting their writers in a in a place to succeed. So. Uh, one of the big things about Fresh Start is they're getting rid of all their Avengers books. They're only going to have one Avengers book. Good. That Avengers book is going to be written by Jason Aaron. Okay. Like, Jason Aaron is arguably the best writer at Marvel right now. Nothing where before Mark Wade, but his run yeah, is not that great. Before they had, you know, Jason Aaron on, like, Thor, right? Put him on your title book. Put him on Avengers. So, Jason Aaron is going to be put on Avengers. I think it's being, uh, the, the, the inside is being done by McGinnis. Okay. Um, they did announce that there's going to be Venom is going to be Donny Cates. Okay. Um, which is, fa- you know, Donny Cates right now is doing Thanos. Okay. He, he's the one that came up with that galactic... Uh, Doesn't Doctor Strange, too? Ghost Rider, who's actually Punisher. And he's also doing Doctor Strange. Okay. Right? Um, we know that Dan Slott's leaving Amazing, finally, after 10 years. I mean, that's huge news. Yeah. Because, I mean, I think Amazing is a great book. It's one of their better books. What's crazy is what they're putting them on. They're putting them on Iron Man, on an Iron Man book. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, and that's it. We we do know that there's going to be some other stuff like this. There's going to be a new Cloak and Dagger book, uh, stuff like that. But they haven't leaked too much of it. All we know is this fresh start and some of the big names being shifted around. I don't know if Jason Aaron is still going to be on Thor. I do know that the Avengers, uh, they did announce that the Avengers is going to be Steve Rogers, Captain America, okay. Tony Stark as Iron Man, yeah. and Thor Odinson as Thor. Going back to basics. Yes. Okay. Uh, they're going to have other mainstays uh, in the Avengers, and then, like, Doctor Strange is going to be in it, but it's Doctor Strange is going to be the rotating slot. Like, Captain Marvel's going to be in there, apparently, um, and a few other characters, uh, the, but, the, the, but the big three are going to be in there. The, 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 I'm all for this. The only thing I'm not all for is starting at number one again. I think as a reader myself and, and working with people that, that, that buy the book and read the book, it's frustrating. It is frustrating. You know, like another number one. Yeah, because you had like Marvel, you had, and, and that's the thing, Black Panther was like with the number one. Now they switched it up with to Rebirth to like 792, and now it's going to go back to number one. Black Panther, you mean? Yes. Really? Okay. As an example. Like okay. that's going to keep going where they're at. I know. So that's going to be that's fucking terrible. It's bad. That like you're going bad. like it, it's it's not just hard on the customers. Like it's hard for us to give accurate information. I know. I know. Right? Because they're like, oh, I want the last Black Panther issue. I'm like, which one are you missing? And I, 
Yeah. It's going to be difficult for yeah. us. I know. Uh, so we'll we'll see where that goes. I mean, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me mm. of I love the Ultimate Universe, but the Ultimate Universe has so many miniseries. Yeah. And if you didn't, if you weren't reading in chronological order and staying with it when it was happening, right? Good luck putting that shit in order right yeah. now yeah. without a guide from the internet. Sure. Because you got Ultimate War, Ultimate Nemesis, Ultimate This, Ultimate Is, and it's just like, and, and if you get one out of the out of the Ultimate Power, like if you don't, if you get them out of order, you're you're all fucked up. Sure. And it seems like they're like they're doing the same thing here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still gonna read it. I'm sure the big reveals. They're gonna have a big reveal for Free Comic Day first yeah. Saturday in May. That's really gonna launch launch this fresh star. We have Avengers. Right, because this is all happening after Avengers, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Avengers comes out the same weekend yeah. as Free Comic Book Day, uh, and uh, so it's gonna be a huge weekend for us, massive. And uh, and then the books will start. The fr- this fresh start will start the roll. So speaking about the fresh start, did you read the uh, the Infinity Countdown book? I did not yet. All right. Um, because I, I I haven't read it yet either, but I want to know where that play. Because now they're doing this Infinity Countdown. Is that what's going to lead to the fresh start? Maybe, 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 maybe something with the st- like. Listen, my prediction for Avengers: Infinity Wars: Everybody dies, and the stones rewrite the history. Okay, you know because they're that powerful and they can do that. Sure. Um. So maybe maybe they won't do that in the movie because that's a really bold thing to do, but they'll do it in the books. Which and by the way, like Marvel, where, where's fucking ten thousand BC Avengers? I know. Like I thought it that was, was so I good. thought it was such a joke and such a stupid fucking concept yeah. and then they put him in that Marvel Legacy and they got me. And the only thing that they're really talking about for Marvel Legacy is Logan with his little like two yeah. three page spreads at the yeah. end and his Infinity Stone. Yeah. You know, which kudos to doing that. People like it. It's good, but you know, it's not Yeah. I want 10,000 BC Avengers. I know. Right. And the Phoenix and all this stuff. Like that. So that's that's Marvel. What about DC? What's happening there? So with DC, we see the beginning of what I believe we're, we're seeing the reasons why Marvel let go of Brian Bendis is because he is fucking an egomaniac who's going to ruin comics. I'm a fan of Bendis, so I disagree with this. Well, thing. I was a fan of Bendis, but Bendis comes in. Uh, DC is going to put him on Action 1000, first of all, which I think it's, it's a bad look. He's had nothing to do with I, Superman I, ever. I think it's disrespectful to Dan Jurgens. To anybody who had anything to do with Superman. Look, Dan Jurgens is Superman, okay? He's been writing that book since I've been reading comic books. So yeah. for 20-something years, that guy has been Superman, pretty much. Yeah. You know, he's responsible for the death of return. I think he's responsible for the electric blue Superman. Uh, he's responsible for everything happening right now in, in Superman Rebirth. Mm-hmm. It, uh and then they're also taking Peter J. Tomasi off of Superman, who created the whole Lois Lane is 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 his wife and John Kent the son Superboy. So Super Sons is being canceled. I know, which everyone's like pissed off, myself included. Yeah, Super Sons is being canceled. Do you see the what? What we know about the I didn't know Cyborg was canceled. By the way, what was Cyborg? Yeah, they're canceling a bunch of books at DC. I know they're already canceled. Yeah, Cyborg was done as of last month, but. Yeah. The, the books we know that they're canceling, what they've released so far is Superwoman, Trinity, Super Sons, Supergirl. Yes. Right? And uh, it's rumored Teen Titans and Titans are Teen Titans and Titans, too. right. So, here's the thing. We and know Justice that... Justice League America. We, yeah, Justice League America. We know the books that Bendis is being put on. He's being put... On super books. He's being put on Superman and Action Comics, but before both of those... Man of he's Steel. Doing a Man of Steel mini. Right. And so here's, here's the Which thing. So released the artwork. So today. Bendis is, is doing straight. a Man of Steel mini. He's doing Action. He's doing Superman. And we're seeing all these super titles canceled. Fuck you, Bendis. And I've heard that he says he, he's, he's not going to disrespect what has happened, but he's going to do his own take yep. on it. So the big question... In my mind, as a Superman reader, because I read Action and Superman and Super Sons, and I'm sure it's in the mind of everyone else. Some of the best world. stuff that came has come out of Rebirth. It, it, it's great. The, the, the whole Cyborg Superman, the Eradicator, the story yeah. of Zod, they're all amazing. You know, the whole Superman mythos has been really good. Kudos to Jurgens and Tomasi. They've yeah. been doing a great job. But the real question on all our minds is, what's happening with John Kent and Lois Lane? Is Bendis going to keep them married? Is is Bendis going to keep John as his son? I, I don't I don't think he's keeping them married. Son? I mean, the rumors are that he's not. I, I don't know. I don't know how you rewrite that. You know? I don't know how you change that without just Take, Without just being an me. egomaniac. Here's, here's what we're doing. Well, that's Bendis for you, right? Another shakeup I heard. They're breaking up the Detective Comics team. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's going to go more to a streamlined Batman-only book. Mm-hmm. Which, that hurts my feelings because the team dynamic there is amazing. Mm-hmm. Stuff happy. They just killed Clayface, if you guys did not know. And by the way, Clayface was awesome. 
awesome awesome part of that team awesome I, the whole story was great the, the future tim drake coming back you know mm-hmm. like, I, like i don't know if you read that shit but that shit was shit was money mm-hmm. um so we'll see and dc's uh, uh, launching new number ones what are their titles going to be we don't really know that's they haven't announced that yet it's all surprising it, it, it all it's all about dan uh, it's all about uh, Michael Bendis and it's it's really annoying me because I feel like they have a really good thing going with Rebirth. Do you know that the Batman Who Laughs, the Man Who Laughs, like yeah. sold over a hundred thousand copies? That's ridiculous. We under ordered on that. I think everyone under. Everyone ordered or under ordered. Con- so so guys like convergence comics nowadays. I, I know that there's a lot of movies and video games and TV shows don't sell in those numbers. Comics no. don't break hundred thousand. No. And uh, yeah, DC's been. Fucking killing it. So why is Bendis coming? Like, what's going to happen with this whole Dark Knight thing? Because after Dark, after the, after what's going on right now, um, they're going into like this DC Nation thing, right? Where it's going to be the after effects of Dark Knight Metal. What the fuck's Ben like? I don't know. I, listen, I'm a fan of Bendis. I like pretty much most of the things that he's written. So I'm looking forward to his run on Superman. I think he's going to have an interesting take on it. I, I hope he doesn't shit on everything that's been up to this point. Um, but I, I'm I'm interested. You know, I I was I was just at New York Toy Fair this past weekend. Yeah. And, you know, I met with some people that, that, that are in the DC know when I was there. And they said, you know what? Brian Michael Bendis comes to work for you. It's not a question of us telling him what we want him to do. It's more of a, it's more of him telling us what he would like. To do. That's 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 fucking stupid. I don't. That's stupid because you have uh, w- but, in the comics world you have so many moving parts, he's up Steve. There, you know, Mark Miller, Bendis. You know, th- th- those type of names. Right, but he's not coming in as editor in chief. He's just coming in as a writer. But but they're, they're they are the they are the 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 movies. They are the they are the Taylor Swift. Of comic books, sure, but writers. they have they they have you know? to, but they Taylor have. Swift says, "Hey, I wanna, uh, I wanna come out with an album featuring all these people. Sh- they will make that right, happen. but but there's singles. But the thing is, no, what the problem is in these comic now that it's so integrated, they keep. I mean, maybe this is a fault of the companies for doing so many events, but the storylines are so integrated that you're gonna force fifty other writers to adapt. Okay, but to Michael t- Bendis. Time out, time out. Jeff Johns leaves DC, goes to Marvel. Do you really think Marvel wouldn't tell Jeff Johns, you could do whatever you want? I mean. But, but again, the problem is, oh, like you're fucking over everyone else. I know, but it's Jeff Jones. Right, but but then you know what? Good for you, Marvel. In a few months, look forward to trying to poach some of these artists. Dan Jurgens can't be happy. I don't think he is either. But you know, Tomasi's definitely not happy. But you want to know what? I'll Tomasi be- loves Super Sons. I know. Yeah. Like he's been on his Twitter nonstop since that shit got announced, posting pictures of toys and everything. He's fucking furious. I mean, people are mad. That's one of our top-selling books. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see, of course. We don't know what's going to happen to them. Like Steve said, Titans and Teen Titans might be mixed together, but they're also maybe bringing back Jung Justice, so there might be this giant, like, Justice, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that like a Justice, Justice League yeah. of Teens, like, type yeah. of deal. So maybe they're just going to combine yeah. all of them, Super Sons and Teen, and teen Titans and Titans all together. And some maybe new, Tomasi will... Right, and, and maybe a new Young Justice yeah. type of comic, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and, and, and they have to do something to appeal to Tomasi and Jurgens. you know, they are... They, it, so, I mean, maybe Jurgens will go on Detective, you know? Ugh. <sighs> After fucking forty years of writing like Superman, like it feels like. I mean, he didn't write the whole forty. No, I know, but yeah. Jesus. Yeah, uh, we'll see. That all this is all this is starting speculation. Yeah. Um, Bendis makes his debut in Action One Thousand, which comes in April. But it's very tacky. We have a really big thing planned here for Action One Thousand at both our stores. So make sure you guys follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you see what that is. Either way, they uh, DC put out the ten covers. Like it shows you what a piece of shit that Bendis is, right? Like Bendis should have been like, guys, don't put me on that book. I don't deserve to be there. Like if it, Bendis has a story to tell, huh? He's got a story. to so tell. So tell it when you fucking took Jurgens off all his books and tell it then. But this is Action One Thousand. You've had nothing to do with fucking Superman. Like, come on, man. Jurgens has a story on on Thousand Two. There's gonna be no, uh, uh, right. Brad Melter's on One Thousand. Okay. Who doesn't belong there? It's Bendis. No, no, I just, dis- I just. And Bendis should have said, "No, thanks, guys. Yeah. Let let let's let's honor the people that have been no, listen, an integral listen. part Here's of Superman." Jurgens is gonna have a story in Thousand that's gonna that's gonna like close off his run. Bendis' story is going to open the doors for his new run. Brad Meltzer is another writer who's gonna have a standalone one shot story on it. 
And There's I, a bunch of people. I think in there. there's a couple other writers too. You know that are gonna be you know doing their one thing. I mean, it's it's an eight dollar book. It's gonna be you know balls thick. You know, it's gonna be you know. It, it, it'll be it'll be good it'll be good i'm looking forward to it you know one could be a pessimist but you know i'm i'm interested to see what dc and marvel are doing in may moving forward i don't like the renumbering at marvel um i'm worried that we're gonna lose john and lois in 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 the dc verse but the books that let's be real the books that dc is canceling for the most part as, as well as marvel too they're not great titles, and they are very low sellers, with the exception of Super Smash. I've seen a lot of people coming out against now Marvel. They're like, oh, is this a new direction for the company? Because you look at these books, and they're all basically the SJW books, right? They're the books that people claim are SJW. They're the uh, the Hispanics, the lesbians, the right, the the Marvel characters that appear that are basically their diversity crew, right? And so a lot of people are coming out against Marvel. You could come out against Marvel all you want, but at the end of the day, I think this is a business. But and that's the thing. I think it comes down to money, right? Right. Now. So so that those yeah. books don't sell, and you got to remember who Ike Permuter is. Basically, he looks at the bottom line. It's funny, like you know how we know that which Marvel books are going to be canceled. You look at the top. 10 low 10 selling books yeah every six months and and uh, permuter doesn't even give a fuck it could be avengers he's like what are the 10 bottom ones yeah. throw them away yeah they don't sell they canceled Luke they don't Cage. right I think they so Iron Fist too. don't I think be mad at marvel you guys need to go out and convince people to buy these shitty books yeah yeah. Badly written. Bad, like, America is just unbearable. I didn't read it, so I can't say. I, I read the first two issues. Did That's you? as far as I got. Yeah, because I was like, oh, Hispanic power. Is that <laughs> yeah, I was fucked that shit. I don't care. Wow. I'd rather have no Hispanics than badly written Hispanics. What other Hispanic characters are there? Miles Morales. Everyone forgets he's fucking half Hispanic. Which is weird. I mean, whatever. Like, no one cares. I, like, I, I know, but he should be. He should just be a black guy, you know? The fact that he's mixed like that. I mean, his other half is like Puerto Rican, so technically. I I know, but everyone everyone associates Miles right. Morales as a bad fuck Puerto Ricans. You know, that not, will you stop? That's a Cuban right there. All right. <laughs> so guys, so, <laughs> that's just that's an inner inner Miami turmoil right there. Um, yeah. but yeah, no, there, there's not a lot. So I I mean, to, like convince these people to buy the books. Marvel's not doing anything. They're just getting again uh, like eight thousand units is. Garbage. How many comic books are in the U.S.? There's more than eight thousand. It's got. It's got to be. I mean, we it's, don't. So let's say there's eight thousand comic books like stores. Like just say, and this like by the way, you know who else orders comics? Like Barnes and Nobles and shit sells comics sometimes, right? They probably skip past America. So so check this out. Yeah. You're saying that a store sold like one, less than one America per store is wow. just horrendous. Yeah, it's bad. So it's bad. I don't like the Fresh Start name. I don't either. And I also think people yep. are going to get burned out by this. I agree. Especially our subscribers are just going to be like, again? Like, you know, whatever. Well, listen, at the end of the day, guys, listen, it, it, it really is probably just going to be a continuation of the existing stories. That's what has happened for the most part. Rebirth was not a relaunch. Rebirth was just New 52 continued, and all they did was really kill off New 52 Superman and Lois mm -hmm. and bring in the, old, the, the, the older Superman and Lois. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... And, and, and no, it, but free, and, and fresh introduce the button story. Well, fresh start is, gonna, is not going to be continued storylines. I mean, they're bringing back too many characters. I mean, we'll see. And also, like you know, Bruce Banner got brought back recently. Thank God. They yeah, no, again, in the first place. Yeah, thank God. But with that said, um, I think it's going to be a harder restart than than what DC did. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah, because sure. you're going to have to explain away too many characters. Well, Marvel you know? has done like I think it was like eight or ten reboots in the past four or five years. Yeah, it's yeah, it's been awful. Like that, so. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. You know that one of the reboots. This is out because I was looking at all the reboots. One of the Marvel. I don't know if you remember, but Marvel Now, the reboot of Marvel Now was Marvel Now 2.0. I did see that. Yeah, Marvel Now 2.0. Yeah. It's <laughs> fucking dumb. I know. It's really bad. So. It's a, but listen, through all these reboots, there's been some solid storytelling happening at Marvel, though. You know, there's been some really good stuff. Secret Empire was good. Yeah. Original. Sin I was sucked. like Nick Nick Spencer though, right? Yeah, it was Nick Spencer. It's usually the, the the writers, man. Marvel has to go out and get better writers. Like Donny Cates was like a good good Civil move, War right? Civil War Two was not bad. No, Civil War Two wasn't badly written. You know, it wasn't bad at all. So, I mean, listen, whatever. I mean, the biggest thing I hated about Marvel in the past three or four years was them trying to shove the Inhumans down my throat, them yeah. canceling Fantastic Four, sure, and 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 them getting rid of our traditional characters and replacing them with with new people in, in the same costume in. And totally yeah, just make a new character, guys. Exactly, create new people. Make a new character. Like, uh, like you want more females? You want more diversity as far as race goes? Give us. You know what really bothered me? 
What? Like when they replaced Steve Rogers with Sam Wilson. That didn't bother. No, 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 I'll tell you why it bothered me. It didn't bother me that Captain America was black. Like, right? That's not what bothered me. I didn't like his. Costume. I don't care about the problem. Is that they kept his Falcon cal- costume, but called him Captain America. It's yeah. like. Don't. It's like having one foot in and the other out. It's like do it or don't do it, right? I didn't like his. Like I thought that was pretty tacky on Marvel's part. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, uh, keep reading, kids. Uh, Please subscribe to these books. As someone you know who works here, check them out on Wednesday. I need you guys. No, fuck you. To subscribe to these books because I get yelled at when we run out of books. But if you guys want Spider Man, you need to subscribe to Spider Man and follow the writer. So if we know that Donny Cates is going to be on Venom and there's a Venom movie coming, please subscribe to Venom. Don't come in Wednesday when Venom comes out or Thursday and be like, I want Venom, which is now $20 online, and yell at me because we don't have it. Thank you. Wow. We have issues. <laughs> You're a fuck. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so check out the books. They're going to be good. Free comic day. I'm sure we're going to see lots of mm-hmm. debuts from both DC and Marvel from this new thing that's happening. Sure. Um, other than that, like I said, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or just search Corker Comics on youtube.com. We have two stores, one in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just east of University, and another one in Miami on 107th and 8th Street across from FIU. Uh if you don't like Marvel or DC, there's always the indie books. That Image is killing it, man. Image is we got we got a new uh, Kirkman book coming out soon. I mean, Image is at the point where we can't consider them an independent anymore, right? I don't think they're independent at all. But you know what? You know you know what makes them independent. They take they they take chances on indie ideas and writers and artists and stuff. Which but they really put they, they really like put backing behind them, you know? Yeah. But definitely check them out. I mean, Oblivion yeah. Song is a new book coming out from. Uh, from Kirkman. Kirkman, which we, right. that comes out soon, actually. Yeah, so uh, uh, okay. if you don't know, Kirkman's previous work was Invincible, which ended uh, Walking Dead and Outcast, um, all very popular books. So Oblivion Valiant Song's awesome. Stuff too. Um, okay. It's good, it's good. Fuck you, it's good. I'm super disappointed in uh, Quantum and Woody. Well, I never liked that. Did you read the new one? No, I didn't, because I don't it was, like It's it. very I bad. Like I don't like it. I have Archer and Armstrong there. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know... Uh, IDW is fun. I'm not gonna say it's great, but it's I don't know fun. what they're doing anymore. I don't um, pay attention to them or Dark Horse. They're Doom all dead. Is fun. The companies to watch out for: Oni Press, Aftershock. Um, those are the com- Titan. Those are the companies that are really doing, really like what Image used to do. Image is playing a little more safe now. Yeah. Um, but you know, Image still good. Um, but check out those. You come in, I'll have some recommendations for you. I mean, Sagas by like issue like seventy already. It's crazy, right? I know. There's, there's pops for it. Yeah, pops for it. By the way, just the, came in. The free comic day pop is going to be a saga pop. It's super popular, dude. I know. Yeah. Go figure. So. So, anyways, for a Tom Pop featuring family and little boy, I'm Stephen Corker. Juan Farage.